Thank you, Major. I too would like to welcome everyone to uh, City Hall this morning. Uh, we appreciate you joining us as we update the community on additional details of a recent development. I'd like to begin by bringing your attention to those standing here with Kokomo Police Chief Doug Stout. They each represent a group of men and women who collectively work day in and day out to address public safety issues in our community as they arise. When I took office in January of 2020, I made a commitment to the citizens of Kokomo that along with Chief Stout and his team, this administration would make public safety a top priority. Knowing that the primary way to achieve success in that endeavor was to focus on increasing the staffing levels within the department, KPD leadership began an aggressive initiative to add the officers and staff necessary to be more proactive versus reactive. By increasing the number of boots on the streets and adding a crime analyst to the staff, KPD has since been given opportunities to work more closely with our partner law enforcement agencies and to dedicate more resources to our outstanding cases, as evidenced by the recent developments in the Karina McClurkin case. It has been the collective efforts of many individuals, again represented by the officials standing here, since October 2016 that have brought us to this point in time today. With that, I'd like now to turn over the podium to Kokomo Police Chief Doug Stout to provide further information on the case. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you all for attending. Um, due to the uh, sensitive nature of this investigation, the Kokomo Police Department will not be providing any additional details or answer any questions at the conclusion of this uh, announcement in order to protect the integrity of this ongoing investigation. On October 13, 2016, the Kokomo Police Department began a missing persons case. The family of 18-year-old Karina McClurkin reported that she had been missing since October 11th of 2016. The subsequent investigation revealed that Karina was last seen at a residence in the 1000 block of South Washington Street here in Kokomo. Since the time of the initial report, investigators of this department have continually followed up on every piece of information and tip that had been received and we will continue to do so. In the fall of 2021, investigators received additional information about Karina's disappearance, as well as the events that took place the following day. <coughs> After receiving this additional information, the Kokomo Police Department came up with a plan to try to further the investigation by generating additional information. We requested the assistance from the Indiana State Police and all of their available resources. The partnership of resources involved in this investigation is what ultimately has brought us here today to be able to stand before you and announce that the arrest has been made uh, in reference to the Karina McClurkin case. The case was presented to the Howard County Prosecutor's Office for review. On July 18, 2022, a warrant was issued for 57-year-old Flint Vincent Farmer of Kokomo for one count of murder. On the same day, at approximately 1 p.m., Kokomo police arrested Flint Farmer at a residence in the 600 block of South Purdom Street here in Kokomo. Additional arrests are anticipated. On July 19, 2022, the ongoing investigation led investigators to a rural area in Miami County. As a result, investigators of the Kokomo Police Department, Indiana State Police, Howard County Coroner's Office, and the Miami County Coroner's Office located skeletal remains. Upon locating the remains, the Kokomo Police Department immediately notified Marlena Smith, the mother of Karina Smith. I'm sorry, the mother of Karina McClurk. The remains that were located have been removed from the location 
and transported to Fort Wayne for further investigation by a forensic pathologist and to be positively identified. As you can imagine, we are all very hopeful in the identification process and hope to be able to come to a conclusion in this ongoing investigation for all the family and friends who have been grieving since 2016. This investigation has been an agency effort, so I would like to personally thank all of the dedicated men and women of the Kokomo Police Department, past and present, sworn and non-sworn, who have directly or indirectly participated throughout the course of this ongoing investigation. We also appreciate all of the public's uh, tips and information that we have received as it pertains to this case. I respectfully request the public refrain from posting information about this case on social media. Most of the past social media posts have not been truthful and have greatly hindered this investigation and the investigative efforts along the way. Again, due to the sensitive nature of this investigation, the Kokomo Police Department will not be providing any additional details at this time. We will be providing additional details and updates when they become available. Anyone who may have additional information about this case is asked to contact Lieutenant Richard Benzinger at 765-456-7324 or the Kokomo Police Department hotline at 765-456-7017. You may also qualify for a cash reward by calling the Central Indiana Crime Stoppers at 1-800-262-TIPS with your anonymous tip. Anonymous tips can also be provided via text message to the number 847-411 and begin the text message with the keyword tip KPD, KI, I'm sorry, TIP, KPD. Citizens can download the Kokomo app free on their smartphone through the Google Play Store or the iTunes Store. As always, all defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Thank you for coming.